Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Services. Will the Minister update the House on action the government is taking to support the homeless? I call the Honourable the Minister for Social Services. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I thank the member for Karangamite for her question. And the it was member for Hotham. A great pleasure to be with the member for Karangamite in her electorate last Friday, Madam Speaker, at uh, the Warren Ponds New Good Start Early Childhood Education Centre, where uh, we were taught many a song and a dance by the local children there. But, uh, Madam Speaker, I'm asked about what the government is doing to support homeless. And when this government came to office, the uh, 2013 budget which the member for Lilly will recall, showed that the National Partnership Agreement on Homelessness for the years 2014-15, 2015-16 and 2016-17, the allocation in each of those years to support that agreement was zero. The member for Chisholm. Nil. Absolute nil. Zip. Zero. That's what was the funding provided by the previous government to support that national agreement, partnership agreement on homelessness, Madam Speaker. And I'm pleased to, to advise the House, Madam Speaker, that it was my predecessor, Minister Andrews, who took the first decision to extend the funding for that agreement for the current year, Madam Speaker. But I'm also pleased to announce, Madam Speaker, in more good news from the Abbott government, Ma Madam Speaker, that the national partnership agreement on homelessness will be continued for a further two years with $230 million provided by this government, offset fully in the budget, Madam Speaker, to ensure that we can deliver important services across the states addressing the important issue of homelessness. Now, that includes $45.6 million in the, in, the, in the member who asked the questions, home state of Victoria, and it also includes $60 million for my home state of New South Wales, Madam Speaker, and this agreement will see these funds matched by the states. But we're not only just funding the program, which the previous government shut the door on the funding for, Madam Speaker. What we're doing is we're improving the agreement because under the former government, the agreement was a bit woolly, Madam Speaker. Money was shovelled out the door with no great accountability. We're improving the accountability standards, and we're going to give very clear priorities. And I'm sure, I am sure, those opposite would agree with this that the priority for the National Partnership Agreement on Homeless should have a focus and to focus it on domestic violence and those affected by domestic violence and for young people who are either homeless or at risk of homelessness should be the priorities, the national priorities of this program, Madam Speaker. Now, I would hope, and I'm sure it is the case, that it is the agreement of both sides of the House that that should be the priority. And that's what it will be under this. And I appreciate the welcome that has been given to this announcement uh, by the sector and by the states, and I look forward to working with them as we move through uh, the implementation of this arrangement. And I note, Madam Speaker, that this is in addition to the $1.3 billion paid annually under the National Affordable Housing Agreement and the $4.4 billion to support 1.3 million Australians through Commonwealth rental assistance, Madam Speaker. So this government has stumped up when it came to funding for homelessness in supporting the agreement that those opposite defunded. Mrs. Time has expired. I call